What's up guys? Maxwell Ventura here with the Disher Group and today I'm going to be discussing the up and coming tech hub dubbed Campus at Orton which plans to transform Horton Plaza. Now for those of you that don't know, Horton Plaza is actually going to be transformed into a tech hub. Now I know what you're thinking, I'm going to pump the brakes for just a sec. Uh, if you're one of those that are a little perturbed that we're going to be losing a piece of San Diego's architecture and historic culture, I would sympathize with you, I totally get it, being a big fan of architecture myself, being from the East Coast. However, the more that I dove into this project and did the research myself, I actually got a lot more excited. And if you've been through Horton Plaza recently, you kind of know what I mean. It's felt more and more like a ghost town over the past few years. And in fact, rather than just taking my word for it, we're gonna go check it out ourselves. So as you guys can see, there's not much going on right now. You have the construction tape in the background. Although I have to say, it's a little bit more of a lively ghost town than I originally uh, projected. Just because the construction workers are here, they're starting to do their thing, and there's music playing in the square as well. Uh, when I go to 24-hour fit here at Horton Plaza in the mornings between 4 and 5 a.m., it's a little bit more eerie. It's obviously pitch black out, and there's no music playing. So a little bit livelier, but, but for all the right reasons. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna head back to the Disher Group headquarters and we're gonna dive in a little bit deeper about what this project, Campus at Orton, entails. Let's go. And we're back. Now, Horton Plaza was constructed all the way back in 1985 and the mall business plan did work for a number of decades, but for the last five to 10 years, it really has been a decline in malls, retail, and brick and mortar establishments all across the nation. So you have to think, with such a booming city like San Diego, the transformation of Horton was inevitable at some point. Now in 2018, there were over 140 new startups in downtown alone, so there's already has been an ecosystem, if you will, uh, brewing of fresh startups in 92101. Now, many of which are in the artificial intelligence and the drone space. And Campus at Orton will continue to expand on that. So, all right, now for a little bit of the deets. Uh, the high profile conversion project calls for a, a bulk of the 10 block property to be remade into office space for tech firms, as you well know, and should provide for as many as 4,000 new tech jobs while giving back an estimated 1.8 billion uh, to our economy every single year once the project is fully completed. We're also going to get an abundance of natural light, solar panels on most of the rooftops, uh, black water recycling system, and a carbon neutral design. What that all means is it's going to greatly contribute to greenhouse gas reductions. And so not only that, you know, we have these amazing world-class universities here in San Diego, and that will continue to churn out the necessary talent to fulfill these challenging tech positions in the future uh, that we will need. And so the goal, as illustrated by the Downtown San Diego uh, Partnership, is to build a city for its residents. So what that means is people from North County, East County, and South County, uh, they need to understand and know that this is their downtown too. So 70% of people who live downtown actually commute out of downtown to uh, go north, south, and east. So this project, Campus at Orton, will give a greater opportunity for increased mobility uh, on bike and foot, and yes, by scooter too. And so as early as this month, actually, March 2020, we received word that the first phase of the project is fully funded. And so we have an estimated completion date for uh, early 2022. Now, this is just one of the many projects slated for downtown. So if you'd like some help buying or selling downtown, 
or in the metro area, be sure to give me a call at 619-944-2580 and I'll personally take care of you. Uh, catch you guys on the next video. Stay safe out there, especially right now, and I will talk to you soon.